Come on, Boy Scouts, put your backs into it. Yes, ma'am! Gods damn it. Not like we're behind schedule already. Shit, man, the boss is gonna kill us. What the hell's happened? Fine, don't answer. At least help me pick this up. She's gonna be here any- You knuckle dragons. What the hell's happened here? Second. Ma'am, we are really sorry. It was an accident. It won't- Do you know how behind we are? We can't afford this. Just grab the god's damn ore and throw it back into the cart. Yes, ma'am. That means you too, Dakot lover. Did you hear me? I'm choosing to ignore you. Do you want to say that again? I'll have you kicked out of this mine faster than a damn cave-in will. And when I'm through with you, oh, if you don't get your ass into gear and- My master had a different plan for me, but I... he's changed my priorities. You, you can't- oh. What the hell are you? Your salvation. You know, you don't have to stand all day. I, uh... Pardon? You don't have to stand all day. There's couches for a reason. Uh... <laughs> I think it would be better for your legs if you sat down. I don't remember that in basic training. Oh, well, I don't remember sleeping on a couch being in basic training, too. I didn't mean to sleep. Xander, I know you didn't mean to sleep on the couch. Oh. But, in all seriousness, sit down. Trust me, I mostly stay in this room and just do work. The most excitement I get is a paper cut. Yes, Eliza. I think it's a little ridiculous. What is? Oh, nothing, really. Just the process of being a personal guard. They demand the best out of an attemptee, to be extremely talented and skilled, to be ready for nearly every single possible scenario and danger that could threaten my life. And the most work they do is get me a tray of food if I ask for it. I guess they left that out of the description. Well, that's not entirely true. I've been in danger before, almost kidnapped numerous times. R really? I'm the queen of one of the most powerful kingdoms in the world. I'm a descendant of Azora. I carry such heavy influence over nearly every kingdom. Yet, I'm the weakest person I know, and I'm four foot eight. Of course people have tried to kidnap me. I... when was that? The kidnapping? Well, the most recent one was about two years ago. What? To be fair, it was poorly executed. They all died the second they got into the castle. I'll give them credit though. Never thought about the balconies in the throne room. Uh... Don't worry, I doubt anything major will happen in your career. At most, you'll deal with me getting a sprained ankle. Well, here's hoping- the Queen! My god, does everyone love slamming doors open? I... Pardon? Nothing. D do you need something, Alistair? Um, we have an incident report in the mines that requires both the council and the advising table. Uh, alright. I'll join you soon. Very good, my queen. That's odd. What is? Nothing. It's just... The council and advising table normally don't communicate with one another. It has to be important if they want to talk together. After you, then? Of course. That is ridiculous! Ridiculous? It makes God's damn sense! You're suggesting the Glastons would only blow up the mines? If it wasn't for the Queen's trip, the Glastons wouldn't have their eyes on us. Oh, that's such bullshit. Yeah, they see us as an enemy either way. You know they're right. They eventually would have attacked. Are you saying that they're bold enough to attack this soon? It's only been a couple of weeks. Of course they'd be bold enough! The damn Glastons! All right, I think we've discussed enough about these silly theories. Silly? What the hag like you know about what the hell is happening? I might be twice your age, but it appears I'm twice as smart as you. I'm not sure if you've ever get out of the castle, but I've never seen a glass in the kingdom of Lucius in all my life. And you attack the mine in all places. Why not the ship Crack the or harbors? Hmm. 
Did I miss much? Oh, not really. Just a pissy competition between Rector and Nana. Well, when aren't those two fighting? Psst. Psst. <sighs> yes, but so. Just wondering why you haven't said anything yet. Mm. Oh, yes. That's right. I don't care. What? As far as we you know, know, I repeat myself. I don't care that a bunch of peasants died in the mines. In fact, I've heard lies a large amount of Dakots worked in there, so it's really a win for me. Now, if you'll excuse me. I... You just... I, I'm so sorry for Glenda. You've yet to say anything, my dude. Why would I? I don't know. I thought, you know, how many people died. I don't give a damn about the miners. As long as it ain't my son, I'm happy. Let's hope you stay happy. Sorry for the delay. I was caught off guard by this. Would somebody mind telling me what happened? That's a little hard to explain. You all called me in here for a reason. What happened? My god, I feel like the only useful one around here. There was an explosion in the mines today, my queen. An explosion? Apparently, it started from within. And Delvan here thinks it was on purpose. To be quite honest, I'm more surprised. Why the mines? That is the question, isn't it? Well, I guess so we can't sell much coal. Maybe. But destroying your airship would have done much more in damages to our kingdom than a simple mine could. So what if 28 people died? It's nothing compared to a whole district. 28 people? Really should not have fucking said that! Uh, well, it's a rough estimate. Shikari Guts were quick on the scene and did a rough estimate. It could. Be less? It could be more. Really should not have said that. Look, the point is that we were attacked, and we don't got a clue by who. I... I'm sorry. You believe we're being attacked? To be fair, my queen, I really doubt that. Oh, you shot it! I'm just giving it my opinion, mate, and nothing else to it. You're trying to make me look stupid again. And what if I am? I think it still suits your ugly mug. You bellend! I should go to your side right now! Bring it, you dipshit! I think that's enough out of both of you. He, he started, started it! How did your mother deal with you two? The point is, the mines exploded and there was a huge loss of life. It'll have to be addressed soon. Eliza, something small. Nothing too grandiose. Soon. Right. Uh... I think you should probably go back to your office. I'd, uh... I'd get a speech ready. Yeah. Eliza, are you alright? Eliza? God damned. Eliza, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Eliza? I'm sorry, Sander. I, I don't think I'm able to perform my duties for today. If you'll need me, I'll, I'll be in my you room. No, it's not your fault, right? This never happened with them. What? I'm not as good as them. I could never be as good as them. They'd know what to do. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't know what's happening. They always knew what to do, and now they're gone. What do I do? So many people died while I just sit here Eliza, and- Eliza, you're not your parents, and I can't imagine what it must be like to be a queen and have to deal with that. But you don't have to hide your feelings from me. You shouldn't see me crying. It's unprofessional. So what? You're human too. Just have a longer lifespan. I... I guess. Eliza, I need you to listen to me. You're going to be okay.
like a mess. No, you don't. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm still dealing with it, I guess. People died, Eliza. It's okay to be sad. Well, I don't see you crying. I cried enough for one person, and I don't know the coal miners. You've still yet to tell me why you're so emotional over it. I doubt you knew them either. I may not have known them personally, but... They are my people. They live in my kingdom. They help supply this city. They have families and friends and... They are under my protection. And I have failed them as their queen. I... understand. I'm just... You know that most of the council and the advising table was against this whole parade thing. It'll have some backlash, at least internally. I am not going to let my people be forgotten. They deserve better than a coal mine. Are you ready or not? Of course. It went off that well? Yeah, I didn't think she'd be that interested in me. But wouldn't you know what I've got me a date? I don't know. Something about that seems a little fishy. Fishy how? Oh, it's just that she... We think that she likes fish. Uh... Okay. Yeah, why don't you take her fishing? Hey, uh, Otsu, can I talk to you? Of course, sister. I never get to know how they do that. Eliza, if you need to stop, Lady Nana can take over. I'll be fine, Xander. All right. I'll be here if you need it. I'll need it. Can I please have your attention? I know to some of you that this ceremony might seem useless. After all, they were just a bunch of coal miners. But I don't see it that way. I see that the men and women that died in those mines were of value. Not only to their families or friends, but to all of us. They might have been your neighbor. They might have been somebody you saw when at the market. But they were people. And no matter what you might think of them, they have left an impact on your lives. No man is a continent entire of itself. Every man is a piece of our kingdom and part of the main. I value them as much as I value my friends, my guards, and all of you. For you all make Lucios the wonderful kingdom it is. While I may be your queen, I am nothing without the love and affection. You. Eliza! The speech! I'm a little emotional because of the incident. Where was I? <laughs>